Hello, 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 and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Earth, reset. Played as Isaac last time, we ran the- Oh, come on! Come on! We just did a Samson run! We just- <laughs> Really? <laughs> I fucking hate you, Isaac. Sometimes I, I. Is this so? I, I guess. I guess this is the way it's gonna be then. This is fine, fine. That's this is the way it's gonna be. This is the way it's gonna be. Not a problem. We got a damage up that alleviates some of the problem. We got a health up. That leaves to alleviate some of the problems of Samson, so you know what, fine, it's the Pink Widow, it has less defense, but it's faster, but it's the Pink Widow, so it's it's fine, if we can kill some flies off, it's, it's all good, it's all good, just try and get rid of the, the red nubs, yes, kill your own nubs, makes my life a whole lot easier, go away from me, uh, I don't want to be coming over this way, because yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna start shooting at me. But the Pink Widow is nearly dead. He's killed a lot of his own enemies. Rage, I think, has capped out at this point. And he dropped the Spirit Heart, which will allow us to go into the Curse Room, which is good stuff. Oh, actually, we can use that Red Heart. Oh, Hanger, GG. Don't know whether it's GG one run or GG dead run, but, you know, all those comments all across the Isaac subreddit. Reddit. Oh, Cobalt Streak picked up the Waco Hanger, GG. So maybe it's a special item. I don't know what special, what is and what isn't a special item. So, oh, 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 found second secret room. Thank you. Uh, Bluey Penny. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. It could become useful later on. Uh, one bomb. No idea where the secret room is. Not attached to the curse room. So there you go. But either way, why can't I hang a GG one run, GG throne run? Who knows, special items are abound, maybe. Let's just continue onwards and let's not take damage to get a deal with the devil where hopefully we can just get the greatest deal with the devil ever. Guardian Angel, also great item, not going to complain about that, so I guess the wire coat hanger is GG one run to give us a great item like Guardian Angel to allow us to block incoming shots and take less damage. One penny may put it into the slot machine. There is, there's the shop. Oh, 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 oh. Don't know how I managed to squeeze through that gap, but that's, that's great news. So, so, now that we are on track, now that I don't have to complain about Samson, because some of his main concerns have been alleviated, we can, we can get back on track with our, our, our American Comic Con stories that we were starting off yesterday, can't we? I guess we'll wait till we've, uh, we'll wait to start the stories until we've at the boss to see if we get a deal with the devil and then maybe decide because you know a two heart deal don't get me wrong it might be the greatest two heart deal of all time it might be two hearts for mom's knife one run but that would leave us with only one spirit heart so we might want to try and just get a hp upgrade out of this boss first we'll, we'll have to we'll have to see how the playing field eases out so let's just finish off this floor and then we'll, we'll start because the catacombs or the oh, watch out the catacombs or the um, caves whichever we do get sent to is a a longer floor so we're fine so we're fighting the champion duke flies we will be able to build rage off his flies but he will be a spawning these big flies which kind of piss off and b he's going to hide out behind all these rocks Make him a bit of a dick to hit. But as long as those big fat flies stay behind the rock, so I have less chance of taking damage. Fine by me. Fine by me. And he's not actually spawning any of the big flies. Oh, he spawned one, two. So the second I say it, he's clearly going to start spawning them. He's dead. His little flies are almost dead. We haven't taken damage on this floor. Deal with the devil should be likely is got to take the cardboard box because we can't re-roll it. Pick up all this. Spirit Heart, yes. Uh, judgment. Shit. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, we could have got... We'll save it. Okay, it's fine. 
Four cents. I can't do it. I'm going to take the pack though, because it gives us all spirit hearts and more damage. And we could easily get a health up out of this pill. Uh, look up. Okay, that's fine. Bloody Penny has served its purpose. We'll take we'll take the burnt penny, excuse me. Got three bombs. Secret room could be viable. Let's go check this last room. Because here's what we're going to do. The shop... Um, the shop is something I would like to go to. But I would save the money for judgment for the next... You were the devil, because we can get a free devil item out of judgment. So, we are going to go into the curse room and lose a full spirit heart, I think. <sighs> yes, we will. It's a risk, but I'm willing to take it. We'll just be a very strong blue, but hey, look, we got it back. So, okay, no risk. I would have hoped for two spirit hearts to, like, gain a spirit heart profit, but you know what? That's fine. That's a good, good floor. So now we're looking to get a lot of money for the next deal with the devil, so that we can basically get lots of lots of money into judgment and get a guaranteed payout in the devil room. So we are on the caves XL, which means that a deal with the devil will definitely probably show up here because like it takes one floor to recharge, but I think on an XL floor it's already recharged because it's two floors in one. So we'll we'll work that out when we come to it. We've made ourselves a space. There's a penny. Every penny helps because a it gives us bombs and b oh be careful these guys get knocked back really easily. So we'll just line them up before taking them out. We have a key for our item room and we have another bomb and another key. All good. More pennies the better. Oh shit, wire coat hanger. There you go. It's true, wire coat hanger. GG. Cobalt Streak picked up the wire coat hanger. GG one run. Non Line picked up wire coat hanger. GG one run. Insane Spiral picked up wire coat hanger. GG one run. Not quite one yet. Uh, I probably won't take any deals with the devil at this point. I'll just stack HP. I think it's wise to just stack HP at this point now that we've got the greatest gift of all time. All we need is HP. Nothing else. Maybe you might get me to swing a two heart deal for a flying item. Maybe. Maybe. But that's the only, like, the mark, or the mark, the pack, uh, we've already picked up the pack. The mark is not worth it. Uh, brimstone, not worth it. None of the guppy items are worth it. I guess nine lives might be worth it because we can only go but up. Don't want to take that just yet because it could like be bad trip, ruin us. But main point, I would only take a flying item. You might convince me to take um, the mark, maybe? Because it's just still, it'll still just give us spirit hearts. You might be able to convince me. Oh, Mr. Boom. Well, I mean, we can use Mr. Boom to look for the secret room. And we can use him as basically a secret room locator. But yeah, you might convince me to take a few of the, the devil items. Oh, I'm so lucky to not take damage there. But not really. Oh. Not really, as in, I'm not really lucky that I didn't take damage, but you're not really going to convince me to take any kind of devil item, far from a flying one. So, this guy is being a bit of a dick. Thank you, Guardian Angel, because I'm pretty sure I got hit there. So, let's go take on our boss. Uh, the first boss, oh, watch out, he's not the one that shoots the bombs, he's the one that does the eight-way shot. Well, he's dead, he gave us a spirit heart. Uh, not gonna pick up the spirit heart just yet because we can go into the we're going to be going into the um, curse room, so we just instantly lose the spirit heart anyway. Oh, this is the greatest peep gets stuck on the rocks. Oh, peep, you're you're screwed. All the things that we've got to watch out for is the eyes, and the eyes are on the other side of the screen. No deal with the devil, really. I am quite shocked at that. What have we got? The stars. Uh, hmm. Yes, yes, I see the stars. That is, um, that's kind of interesting because it could teleport us into the item room. Now we can start taking these. We should take one into the cursed room, actually. Because one could be telepills. But we'll look around the rest of the floor first. Um, no, we'll go to the cursed room first. 
We are going to lose a spirit heart, but it's better to go to the curse room and take damage now because we might find the secret room, be able to Mr. Boom our way out. Secret room not attached, so we know that it's not above us. Back it up just in case it's spiders. Not and back, back it up. Come on, two spirit hearts. So we are going to gain a spirit heart. We're not going to gain a spirit heart. Oh, because bad trip like. Leaped us, we could get out while we were flashing, so that's kind of good. At least we know there's a full health pill in the rotation. Should we get, um, should we get red hearts? So, did we look? We looked in the item room for the secret room and it wasn't there. It can't be above the curse room, so logic dictates the secret room has to be here. It's not, uh, pill. Tears down. Doesn't matter anymore because we've got Mom's knife. Why co hang a GG run, one run? And we will start be able to. Oh, if we could get the map and compass. Well, you want to save your money for judgment. These are both true. Do we save the money for a deal with the devil judgment? Ooh, that was lucky. Or do we go for the map and compass? I guess we see what's in the item room first. More pills. More pills. Might want to take that in a minute. I have to lose guy. Ooh, you actually survived a mom's knife to the face. Your brethren didn't, but you did. So you get you get a special prize of being the last one I kill. Secret room could be here. It's not. It is not. Wow. 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 So many. Uh, so many attempts. So many fails. But we've opened up another possible location on the left or the right hand side. Sorry. Just looking for the shop. Keys are great for the next floor. Shop is uh, the most likely thing I want to find. Now, there was a demon judgment, but there's no way we can play that with no red hearts. Maybe if we can swing a HP up like a mini boss with Gluttony, Gluttony drops the heart. We can swing that. And we know there's no secret room there because it wasn't attached to the curse room. The secret room is probably here. So, Mr. Boom? Yes, yes, what's in here? Nine cents, enough to make the shop viable, and I would much like to buy the compass if we could get it, because that way we can speed run the rest of the game. Once we decide to go down, we can pretty much speed run now, but our health is deleterious, so if we can find like a book of revelations in the shop, book of revelations would be great. I would happily take a book of revelations. Uh, compass again, map and compass, would love to take. You just jump this way please there you go and of course we can use a bomb here because we're getting two bombs in return we could have waited for mr boom to be charged but hey we're getting two bombs in return and these pennies will also drop extra bombs which is great for us so we found the secret room we've got the money so what do we use mr boom on now Ooh, we will probably just use him for combat not in this room though oh please there we go that was that was scary but we did it and in our shop, we have the battery. Hmm. I guess it's worth it just in case we do manage to pick up the book of revelations. So we have lost a lot of money. So our chances of deal with the devil judgment paying out might be a little bit wonky. But at least... Oh, no, we're getting pennies back. That's fine by me. The more pennies we get back, the better. Uh, I need to kill these flies first because the flies are the things that are affecting me the most. You are not, and you. Good, 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 good. Continue to search because, again, I'm hoping to find Gluttony, hoping to find one HP upgrade. Try and play Demon Judgment once or twice. Consumables in good stead on this run. So, thank you, Wirecoat Hanger. You know, everybody says Wirecoat Hanger, GG Throne Run. So, I'm going to believe that all of our good luck from consumables and everything else is coming from the wire coat hanger uh, now this guy in the middle is fly there we go I was gonna say the kind of flying in the middle making them harder to hit we did it so we must be coming to the the end point here we can't be far off the end point that was a nice mom's knife through them all and that was enough to finish it off the Emperor oh good cards they're all good cards like the stars are oh, our mini boss was wrath why couldn't you have been gluttony that's a shame. Oh, back out. Back it up. Get away from me. 
Because we can't afford to lose any health because we are on Spirit Hearts. Spirit Hearts will be good for late game, permanent Polaroid invincibility, but we can't afford to just lose that health because we haven't got a mitre or a relic or anything to build up our, our Spirit Hearts. So we will get a free penny here which is going to help with our Demon Judgment or our uh, regular Judgment payoff later on. Two rooms left I assume. Yep, that's a self-sacrifice room, can't do anything with that. So now it's time to leave the floor. There is a pill, or is that white pill? We should take that and see what it is. Uh, you know, it's kind of scary. Now, there is a way of getting a... Let me try this. I think if you do this, Mr. Mega plus Mr. Mega, it makes... Well, I tried. There is a way of getting like all those bombs for one bomb, but I don't know how. So two bombs for three bombs, we are making a bomb profit. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure how to do that. Let's just take this pill. Hopefully it's good. Balls of Steel is the perfect pill for our rotation, although we haven't seen it yet. Unknown pill? Tears up. Okay, well that constitutes the tears down that we got. Oh, I would have liked Balls of Steel, but never mind. Let's just move onwards to the next floor, where hopefully a Deal with the Devil will spawn, because we've got a lovely 7 cents that we can drop into a Judgment. would like more, because it takes up to 20 cents for a Judgment to pay out, but hell. If we can get him to pay out now, it'd be, it'd be kind of nice. And then we don't have to worry about that. Oh, we will get an extra Spirit Heart. Completely forgot about that. It's great stuff. What's this? The stars. We can't take it with us. Let's just... Go downwards. Good run so far. Quick run so far, but of course it will be. Oh, not the uh, not the fan of this room, of course. But that's fine. This is the wrong way, and these guys have got some nice range on them. You know, I'm not going to knock these guys for their range. They can shoot across the screen when they want to. Just got to be careful. Uh, Mr. Boom almost charged. You know what? not going to use Mr. Boom because it might kill Demon Judgment. We may have a chance to play him. Maybe, maybe not. That's... give us an idea that the secret room is also not there. Two more pennies for Demon Judgment and we got our bomb back. Also great. So, this room, obviously a very scary room with chub shooters. But we can shoot across them and, you know, do this. So, the big one is the biggest threat because he's took two mom's knives. Ooh, you nearly got me. Ooh, you sly man. So, we got Mr. Boom for a free golden chest and with four keys. Why would we not open it? Because it can contain just a bomb. All right, fair enough. It could have also contained money or, a, you know, a, a Tammy item or just HP. They have revealed a secret room. Can't tell if it is the first or second one. So, thank you, Green Nub. Your usefulness has ended. Lots of red hearts. If we get HP up, if we get one single HP up, that makes that demon judgment worth it. So we continue this way. Be careful of the gluttony lasers. And shoot. We have a Mr. Boom, but I'd rather use it here for a chance to find a secret room. It is. One up. Okay, that's, that's a semi-good item, but I don't know how it'll work with all spirit hearts, so... I think it's just the nine lives. But we'll see. Uh, what we got here? Big dude. Oh, there goes. There's the damage. It was going to happen sooner or later on the Acropolis. Knew it was going to happen sooner or later on the Acropolis. Oh, this, that's scary. That is really scary. Oh, 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 oh. I don't like it. But there's our spirit heart back, so we only lost half spirit heart. Uh, what's in here? Stone chest, not worth it. I'm just going to use a bomb here. We've got a good supply of bombs, and Burnt Penny is helping us out anyway. Half a heart, ugh. That's fine. At least that's this part of the floor done. And we continue onwards for the boss. And a chance at a free devil item, because we can't pay for one. That's, that's, uh, that's kind of guaranteed. Like, if we got a, um, if we got a three spirit heart deal, depends what it was for, may pick it up, but beyond that, we can't, we can't, like, buy a devil item, we have to, oof, that was a 
watch turn, but we have to um, we have to avoid the bombs and avoid as much damage as possible. Oh, there's red fire shooting at me as well. Hey, do that. There's an extra penny. Every penny counts because every penny gives us a bomb. Plus, or every penny has a chance to give us a bomb. Plus, a chance to make judgment pay out. Still no. Still no. Um, that's the shop. Possibly greed, so let's just do it. Yep, kind of figured it'll be greed, but greed is dead, and that guarantees our judgment payout, so... Judgment, definitely gonna pay out. Hopefully it's not demon judgment, because that is a possibility. And our last shop shouldn't contain greed. Oh, we're actually one penny off a guaranteed payout from judgment, because he can pay out in up to 20 cents. Uh, this room, okay, this room very, very scary. This is very, this room is very easy to take damage on, and I'm not too sure. I need that spider dead first before we take the run and throw the knife. Run and kill. And, no, take the run and throw the run. There we go. That key can go fuck itself. I don't care about that key right now. That key is the least important thing when we need to take as little damage as possible. If we leave that key, so be it. We left the key. We'll check this item room. Unicorn horn, better than Mr. Boom. I, uh, I don't know. It's certainly better from. It's certainly better on this particular boss because it's going to help us not take damage. So we'll go in. Oh, it's the fawn. Okay, first of all. When are we gonna? Oh, fuck. I guess we're gonna use the unicorn horn now because he's charging. So we can like split him up. There we go. Oh, we had Mom's knife as well, so that was that was great. So I doubt we're gonna get. Oh, we did. Uh, Ouija board. That's fine for later. Now we can't take either of these, but we don't want to take either of these because either of these are trash. So we will play Judgment, and he has to pay out. So. You know, we got 20 cents, this guy has to pay out. Paid out with a tarot card, the lovers, not useful. He paid out with this, two of hearts, also not useful. Uh, continuing onwards, come on, you have to, you have to. I brung 20 cents in, you have to. Don't do me dirty like this, please. Judgment, judgment, please, don't do me dirty like this. The hero font, you know, that's fine, but... You can't do me dirty like this, Judgment. You can't. I give you 20 cents. I, I hate you. I fucking hate you. I just... <sighs> Fuck you, David. Fuck you, Judgment. Fuck you so much, Judgment. I... <sighs> well... Love a joke. Love a joke. I think we take the unicorn horn as well, because we're going to get extra charges from the battery. And we had Mom's knife active with the unicorn horn, so we can just actively run into enemies while invincible with Mom's knife. So the unicorn horn is actually better than Mr. Boom, as I saw on that fight. Well, there's no point in fucking keeping your door open, Satan. There's nothing I can do with it. So we're down to the depths. The depths is cataclysmically easier than the Necropolis. Except this particular room, which has a green dude in the middle and three leapers. But you dick! You are a dick! You shot after the fact. I fucking hate when they do that. Fine. Right, one guts. Two guts. Really? Oh. Got grey spike incoming. Loki spike chasing me. So we need to build up some spirit hearts. We are going to get permanent Polaroid invincibility, but we need to build up some spirit hearts. This is not the way to build up some spirit hearts. Four keys makes the mob trap room and the other chest a lot more viable. Can I, like, sneak through to get that? No. Uh, so now we're out of Mr. Booms. So I guess we start using regular bombs. Got the money back, so we're gonna get the bombs back. Uh, we look for a. Hmm, I guess we look for a unicorn horn charge so that we can just run into all of the enemies on the mob trap room. Then we look for a unicorn horn charge for the boss. 
That seems like the most prudent use of the unicorn horn seems. You know, it's not very good. That's fine. So we open it. Giles Heart, useless, but we can unicorn horn and we can run in with Mon's knife. And just, yeah, that took out the first wave. Uh, it doesn't last as long as I actually would have thought it lasts or I would have hoped it lasts. But it took out the first wave, so. And I think the last wave's easy. Oh no, the last wave's I for lose guys. Still easy though, because Mom's knife goes through them. Burnt Penny better than Child's Heart. Was it worth it? No, of course it wasn't. Uh, alarm's going off because it's 11 a.m. Because again, I've been work this morning at 5 a.m. That's fine. And after this floor, of course, hopefully we can swing a compass on this floor. Because after this floor, we can start speedrunning. Because we can just, we don't have to look for item rooms or shops to buy things from. So, what are we looking for? First of all, first and foremost, item room. Second of all, shop. Third of all, boss, which we can obviously not escape from. Uh, Chubb just got stuck. Ooh, Eternal Heart. Ooh. Is Eternal Heart good at this point? Because, uh, ooh. Second, because at this point, A, this is a bit of a tricky room because of the spikes going around the edge. But you might know be saying, take the eternal heart, take the eternal heart. You've got enough spirit hearts to, to justify that you won't lose it. That's true. It's very true. But at the same time, I'm, I've got to hate fucking zombies with mom's knife because I don't know. Oh, do you hit the body? Ah, it's not the head, it's the body that's the hitbox. Because I always wonder, like, where the hitbox is, because sometimes like that, the knife goes through them. And actually, I hit the body there. I'd love to know where the hitbox is on zombies. Because sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. But, oh. item room, HP, it's giving me HP. Oh, da -da -da -da. Do we do it? Do we do it? I don't know, because you see, you might be saying, do it, do it. You've got lard, you've got... Um, the Eternal Heart, that's 3 HP! That's like 3 great HP and it's like, you're not wrong! You're not wrong, 3 HP is great! But, Permanent Polaroid Invincibility is more helpful. So, you know, which is the, which is the, the best, best usage now? Is it health to maybe trade in with a deal with the devil should we get one? Which is a high risk, because there's a chance that we won't anyway. And, um lose permanent Polaroid Invincibility, so we're guaranteed to take many hits against Isaac. Or, do we take... Wait a minute. Where's the fucking secret room then? This has to be the secret room then. Yes? Yes. Or, do we not take it and have lots of permanent Polaroid Invincibility, guaranteeing us to take less damage? So, as good as Lard and that Eternal Heart is, and as good as the coin purse could be with Tears Upgrades, we know there's a lot of bad pills. So I think we just buy this, buy the key, say fuck the coin purse, and we go, we go for the, um, we go for the permanent Polaroid Invincibility. I think that's the best course of action. So here we go. Sorry, Lard, you are a great item, but not today. Not today. I think permanent Polaroid invincibility is more valuable. So the mom fight. Blue mom, but we have unicorn horn, so we can just run in to each extremity, like that one over there, and the leg, and do massive damage before we actually have to dodge effectively for ourselves. Unicorn horn, great combination with mom's knife, I have just found out. Because usually Unicorn Horn's garbage, you never want to pick it up. So, <laughs> we ended up getting the coin purse anyway. So, we get one Spirit Heart here, another here, Polaroid, coin purse. Now, look up, fine. Unknown pill, I'm not going to take it because it could be health up, could ruin us. Look up, fine. Ah, oh, fuck it. Retarded okay. pill. Because we can just not pick up, look down. So the coin purse was actually garbage. Good thing we didn't pick it up. Uh, love us, I don't know why I'm still carrying this, because we're never going to use it. But, you know, hopefully we can swing a better tower card. This looks like an XL floor, because we've got the, uh, the frozen glitch. 
Let it go, let it go. I am on with the wind. There we go. Yeah, exhale, curse the labyrinth. So no deal with the devil. Not that we wanted one anyway. So now we've just got to do where the boss is. Where is the boss? This looks like a single pathway, so I think the boss is more likely to be this way. Let's do it. And if we can find the boss really quickly, that would be great. We have a unicorn horn charge. We need to get four keys for the... Oh, four keys for the chest, obviously. We want to make a way slowly over this way. We're going to aim downwards to try and... Oh, take out this guy. God damn it. I fucking hate meat boys. They just have... You... You got hit by the knife. I could bullshit. Well, thank you for the two spirit hearts back. It was... It was fine. Uh, Fast Chub. Fast Chub will take more damage from the knife going straight through him. Whoa. Okay. Fast Chub is way too fast. But another spirit heart from... What I assume is the wire coat hanger GG one run at this point. So thank you, wire coat hanger, for your mysterious powers. And you know that's what we're gonna call the episode, wire coat hanger GG. Oh, this room, not so much GG, because eye lasers want to decide to shoot quite a lot for some reason. You need to go. Uh, could still be the way to the boss. Let's get rid of that guy first. And oh, Diggler, pop down. Oh, 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 on Diglett dead. Diglets are actually the, the hardest part here because they can pop up and down like this guy which stands there for quite a while. So this doesn't look like the way to the boss because it's just leading into more rooms. So maybe it's up and around. Let's have a try. Nope, this is a dead end room. You're dead. Oh, watch out for the bullet. You're dead. And where are you going to pop up? You're going to pop up over there. Good stuff. Red heart, not so good. Uh, we've got 22 bombs, so we might as well look for the secret room here. And it could have revealed some tinted rocks, so that's why I was blowing it up, but nope. Secret room could be here. And we have to remember, we do have the one up, but I don't know, I think that's just going to bring us back with one red heart. And, like, basically nine lives us into submission. But we will have the Unicorn Horn charged for Isaac. I'm going to make sure of that. And if we have the Unicorn Horn charged for Isaac, that's basically like... We're invincible and we're stabbing him with Mom's knife. So we should have a good a good victory over Isaac. Thank you for giving me the correct items. Wire Coat Hanger. Cobalt Street Pick Wire Coat Hanger up. GG Throne Run. Or one run. So yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... You know, solidify the reddit comments and say yep they are they are correct that the wire coat hanger has some mysterious property in which by picking it up you get mom's knife unicorn horn all the best all the best stuff so yeah wire coat hanger i can confirm what every time you pick wire coat hanger up gg one run uh these guys are being dicks right now because they keep popping up and popping down in places where hard to get over to him but we did it and we got two chests from those eye lasers bombs and keys fine by me we're at the top of the map and it looks like we can uh go over oh. it looks like we can go up and over to maybe the boss area over here two more bombs thank you very much uh dead end really well okay okay then fair enough Interesting that it's a dead end. This looks like the only single pathway, so we're gonna be exploring a lot of the a lot of the womb. Nothing. Okay, well, we'll go over this way. Maybe there is a right single pathway over this way. There is. Fighting a champion monstro that has more health, but he didn't last too long. Extra penny, don't know why I'm collecting the pennies. Maybe we'll come across one judgment. Now we've gotta throw the knife top here to get rid of the eyeless ooze guys and then we can walk this guy onto the spikes there we go extra key good stuff no point in going uh, i guess we've got to just in case there is like left and right doors you know what there was no point don't go into that other room it's it's unnecessary damage should have thought about that but it's fine so i'm gonna assume that the path to the boss is that single 
corridor down here. It's gotta be. It's the only it's the only place I can see. This has to be the way over to the boss. So we'll go this way. Uh, we took out one of the one of the dick enemies. Is the angel fierce? They can teleport, but they only fire a single bullet. It makes them easier to take out. Uh, take out that guy. That was close to taking damage, but not quite. And last guy. Really, you duck down at the last possible moment. And we have Guardian Angel working in conjunction with Cube Me. So we are we are on track for a good um, amount of Isaac's shots being blocked. Just be careful and peep you are you're dead peep. Don't lie. So we have a chance of the secret room also being here, so we'll have a quick check of that before we continue rightwards for our what could be the boss. I think the boss is more likely to be to the right on a single pathway. Nope, okay. So where do we go now? I think he's more likely to be downwards, because upwards is just kind of that clusterfuck of rooms. And usually like a boss is attached to a single pathway like this. Thank you for more bombs. Don't know if they're going to actually be useful against Mum's Heart because we're just going to unicorn stand there. Nope. Okay. Upwards. Upwards and overwards. No. Dead end Loki. Where the hell is the boss then? Where the hell is the boss? Loki, you're dead. Um, Bombfly, you're dead. Um... Okay. Down? Continue to say down. Not too sure though. Oops. There we go. Destroy the nub. Oh, watch out, be careful. Uh, there is two nubs. One of them is a... Come on, Angel Fierce. I would like some more range on the knife, if possible. Because it's making it kind of hard to get over to some enemies. So, there's got to be a path down. There was indeed. I thought there had to be. So the boss has to be this way. It can't not be this way. So there is more silkworms activated. The silkworms are easier from, than the fistula parts. They move a lot slower. Just uh, continue onwards here. I hate a spectral knife. I think the spectral knife just sometimes doesn't hit the enemies. But either way, it's fine. Did, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? I took stupid damage because I'm so shocked that this is not the way to the boss. Is there... A, there has to be... What? 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 Come on now. Come on now. Play the game. Troll engine. You can't just do this. Fuck you, Blast Assist. I am really surprised it took that long for Blast Assist to hop with Mom's knife. Alright, so we continue leftwards. Oh, lasers, 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 lasers. I got hit by the laser. Don't. Relax. Just relax. There's a lot of lasers incoming, and it's kind of pissing me off now. We are getting in a dire situation. Just chill out. Just relax. Just. Re really? Come on. Are you gonna... Okay, so you only fire... So, going down... This is still not the boss. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. This is madness. No, this is Sparta. Well, I, d I don't know, it might as well be Sparta, it might be as well be 300, because the womb is certainly beating us down with the ridiculous size of it all. I mean, this can't be a dead end, it just can't. It can't be. It's, it's still going. It has to be the boss though, because it's a single pathway. I mean, the other ways are like branching off into single paths, but this feels like boss because it's the furthest over. Good lord! Good lord, this is crazy. Yes, finally! Finally! That's uh, That was ridiculous. Oh, we still got the first boss. 
Uh, who do we use the unicorn horn on? Not too sure. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I found pills. All right, whatever. We'll, say we'll continue to hold this, lovers. It'll pay off at one point. Conquest. Well, I know who we're using the unicorn horn on. We're using it on this douchebag because Conquest is a dick. Yes. Yes. My pony sucks. Last flying and speed upgrade for it sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna go for mom. It'll be wise. So we go in, fire straight away. Oh, we start in the middle, don't we? That really? That missed the. I, I fucking hate these eye lasers. Alright. Fire in. Fire in. We couldn't get a bomb because I. Bomb down, fire in. Oh, zombies. Really, the bomb missed. Alright, now it's starting to get silly. Oh, okay. So, mom is. Oh, I got half a heart. When did we only get half a heart? Kill mom's heart at least. Mom's heart is dead. Deal with the devil. You're funny. I mean, you know, you, you can say go to show, go to show. You've got a better chance of finding Satan, but we have got a one up, so. I'm gonna push for Isaac after that ridiculous womb. And honestly, the cathedral is partly easier. It's partly harder, but it's also partly easier because all there is mini bosses like Sloth. And Sloth, while well, he can, he could certainly do that. What do we spawn with? We spawn with nothing. We spawn with nothing. Oh, okay, this was a terrible mistake then. I have made a terrible mistake. What? Still fine. Still fine. We're gonna do it. We can do it. All Sloth has to do is drop the hero font and we live. Sloth is being a dick and certainly firing enough bombs to prevent me from having a chance of getting the hero font. Oh god, Sloth! Two Sloths! I've never had this much trouble with Sloth. He is, he is bomb mad right now. Okay. Back up. Give me the hero font. I need the hero font. Oh, Bob's running head, really. Oh, it was going so well. Is this the room that kills us? This is probably the room that'll do it. Unless we can get to a safer location. Oh. Every room is the chance of absolute abject failure. We do have a unicorn horn. Should we request? This is the unicorn horn room. This is the unicorn horn room with a combination of greed and super greed. We killed super greed, and there's uh, there's greed finishing me off. It's fitting that it's fitting that everybody's arch nemesis should be the one to do it. I'm so sorry, guys. I am really sorry, but you know, 129 mom kills. It's one more. It's one more. That that womb man though. That womb. That was ridiculous. Just the sheer size and that wound was crazy. But anyway, we still made progress. We're still we're still slowly crawling our way to the end of this series. So hey, at least it was still progress. So thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play the Binding of Isaac Rebirth Reset. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like, and if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see all of you in the next one.